Well, from surviving a shark attack to making it through the killing fields of Cambodia, there are some incredible stories of survival in the Houston area. Today, we want to focus on a couple of them and an event designed to encourage us all. It's a busy time at Christina's tax service. This businesswoman has come a long way from her native Trinidad and an abusive husband in New York. Christina Duram Singh says she endured 13 years of torture and rape by her husband. The breaking point came in a boiler room. It's the night that he took me down to the boiler room, stripped me naked, uh, tied me up to the boiler, uh, took about seven knives and machetes, and started to sharpen them. After sharpening all of them, he laid them out side by side and started to take one at a time and run it across my body in different parts of my body to scare me. Christina says she prayed to die. And I closed my eyes and waited to die. And after a while, after maybe an hour or so, um, I realized that I was free, meaning that the ropes had been untied. I had no idea who untied them. When I opened my eyes, he was gone. Never to be prosecuted. But that ordeal prompted her to leave her husband and start a new life in Houston. Photographer Elisa Murray lost her mother at the age of eight. For me, I wouldn't be the person that I am if I hadn't gone through that. And it's a bad thing to have happen. And it's sort of an unusual thing to have happen, because you know, she got hit by a train. But I've become a photographer, I've become an artist. I understand that photos are what people have left when, when people aren't here anymore. Christina and Elisa will be sharing their stories of survival at a special event here at Unity Church, an event designed to share hope. It's the brainchild of Cindy Klein Flores. She compiled the stories of, as she puts it, ordinary people overcoming extraordinary odds. It's one of the greatest joys in my life other than having my son, mm -hmm. is to work with the 25 people in this book and hear their stories of how they overcame. Her book, Always Hope, is dedicated to Cindy's sister, who was paralyzed in a horrible accident. She ultimately ended her life. Cindy says her sister lost hope. And I wanted to put together something that would give people hope, some words of encouragement, some inspiration. What could I do to reach out and touch other lives and give them hope? Elisa Murray shot many of the photos in the book. People of all ages and faiths are profiled. Christina's story is titled Running Away to Home. She came to Houston with little money and her three-month-old son. I had no place to stay, no job, no car, no one that I knew. But I did not care about that because I just wanted peace. Her son Daniel and daughter Michelle are grown now and very proud of their mother's story of survival and success. We have that ability to conquer any obstacles with faith. An amazing woman. The Always Hope, a Night to Remember event will take place tomorrow night at Unity Church in Houston. You can find a link to event info on our website. Just look on click2houston.com under the hot button. Oh, such an incredible story. There are powerful stories throughout this book, yeah. and it really does show you that people have overcome so many things mm -hmm. and, and through perseverance and, as Christina said, faith, they're able to succeed. And they're even stronger for it, exactly. it seems, as exactly. these women showed us today. Exactly. Wow.